Alright, and we are back, folks, and I had a bit of a scare. It fucking froze while it was autosaving, and it did not delete my character or corrupt it at all. So, that is fucking amazing. And let's get on to the next question, which was, uh, like I said, a loaded question from uh, I Am Stuck in the Dark. It's a question that is hard to answer. Because no matter how I answer it, it might be offending somebody. So, uh, let's try to get it. His question is, what is my opinion on YouTubers that use YouTube as a job? Uh, well, there's a few categories of this. Uh, number one, you have your c type people who, uh, used YouTube to get into, like, an actual real business like Machinima. And now he's like, you know, program manager or some shit. I don't know what his exact title is, but I do know that he oversees a lot of the bullshit that goes on in, uh, you know, Machinima. And he checks out, you know, channels, I guess. I don't really know. But, I mean, he, he works for Machinima. He's not like a YouTuber anymore. He's an actual businessman. Then you got people like, you know, Woody's Gamer Tag, who, uh, whose channel just completely exploded. And they're, uh, you know, got a pretty nasty channel, making a pretty decent amount of money. And he did it the right way. And fucking, you know, asked his boss for, I think it was like a year. I think that he asked for like eight months to a year off or something. And he was like, let's uh, see where the YouTube goes and how I uh, survive without the paycheck. Without really putting his job in jeopardy. And I think that's a great way to go about it if you're trying to turn YouTube into an actual career. As far as, uh, you know, uh, just using it as a straight job without having any type of backup like some YouTubers do, uh, I think that's a terrible idea. Because there's gonna be a time and a place where, number one, either your channel's not gonna be relevant anymore and you're gonna have, you know, trouble getting the views that you used to. And then you have no skills to rely on to go back to, you know, regular work in. You're going to have to work at, like, McDonald's or some shit. Fucking probably living in, like, a double-wide trailer of some sort. Which is, uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to go there. You don't want to be that fucking guy. The fucking, you know. It's kind of like sports, you know. Do you think fucking, I guess, uh, like, all these people that play sports for a living. Do you think they don't have backup plans? A lot of these motherfuckers can go out and fucking turn their shit into jobs. Uh, what the fuck happened? What the hell? That was bullshit. So yeah, like I was going back to, uh, with the sports people. Like, do you think fucking, you know, sports people are gonna, you know, rely on being a fucking, you know, a running back for the rest of their life. No, they know that it's gonna be done one day. And that their time's gonna be gone. So they, they, you know, make preparations. Some of them take, like, fucking, uh... I guess they take courses to become, like, fucking, you know, somebody that, that like, a sports commentator or something. They, they go for, like, you know, audio-visual courses and shit like that. Fucking... And they go to fucking school. Or they just have a natural fit like somebody like Michael Strahan just fits perfectly in the whole fucking you know sports commentator scene so you know they can they could turn that into something else but I think uh relying solely on YouTube for your uh you know your income is a bad idea five years down the road so uh you know YouTube's only been around since 2007 and I mean you remember AOL AOL used to be the shit Everybody had AOL. And guess what? Not everybody's got AOL anymore, right? Because AOL is fucking gone. AOL is fucking trashed. Nobody gives a fuck about AOL anymore. Fucking. And that's how it's going to happen. It's, that's what YouTube's going to be. Like, you know, YouTube is the MySpace or the, uh, the Friendster of the whole fucking, you know, video scene. Something's going to come along and Facebook it. And I've been saying this for a long time, and everybody's like, no, 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 they're like, fucking YouTube will never die. YouTube will die one day. Mark my words, it will die one day. I know it's owned by Google, but, you know, Google isn't 
fucking impervious from dying either. I know they're like one of the biggest companies out right now, but there is a time when like you look at the Forbes fucking, you know, top 10. Who the fuck is this guy? Demon. What the fuck is a Demon? I've never heard of this motherfucker before. He is a beast though. Look at this motherfucker. Woo! I am just gonna smack you to death, bitch. Cause this is what I do, baby. This is what I do. And you're not gonna drop like an orange or a legendary or nothing, no. You're just gonna drop a bunch of money. Money, money, money. So, uh, next question is from Matthew Damn Steel. And he says, I don't know what he's saying. I, I, I want to say uh, one thing. If you are asking questions, I'm not asking you to have perfect fucking, you know, uh, I guess penmanship or grammar. But please allow it to be readable at the very least. Uh, there's a turret here. Get that. Get the shit away from me. So, uh, oh shit. It's a wreck. It's a bunch of wreck. It's a super badass wreck. That's not good. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> get out of here. Woo. Holy shit. There is a ton of wreck. Get out of here. I want this super badass wreck to die. Maybe it'll give me something good. Iridian. God damn it. I'll take it anyway. Why the fuck not? Oh, the hell what? Oh, what's that? Almost missed that. Holman, Holman Tesla. I am not a fan. That might be good for a fucking middle uh, column Mecromancer, though. Although, I don't have one of those. So, I don't need it. But I'm going to try to read this for you real quick before I go up here because it's going to be enemies. It says, non-elemental all gig damage gun are, in my opinion, are more effective than elemental weapons. How about you, Morden? I'm not lying. That's, that's what it says. Uh, I'm thinking he's saying non-elemental high damage guns are better than elemental weapons. I, I, I don't agree. I don't agree. I am a fan of corrosive weapons. Corrosive weapons when fucking you look at the fact that most of these goddamn fucking most of these enemies in the game are fucking you know really weak to corrosive I'm gonna be rocking the fucking corrosive I can't shoot that Jesus Christ motherfucker um I'm gonna have to snipe that yeah! Let's see if we can't get a jump shot on there. No. Let's line that up a little better. There we go. There we go, son. That's what I want to talk about. Look at this motherfucker over here. I see you, bitch. I'm going to sneak up on you. We're going to go with this sneak attack, son. You ready for this shit? This is how you play Zero. Oh, look. He sees that shit. I'm coming to steal your health, bitch. Ready? Boom! Ooh, I stole more than your health. I took your virginity, bitch. Um, yeah, how about no? These motherfuckers are level 51. Not cool. Um, that's not good. Let's toss a couple of these really badass grenades out here. Yeah. Um, where's my Vlad off at? I would need my Vlad off. Yeah, level fifty-one, my ass, motherfucker. Uh. Yeah, what do you got on me now? You're a badass looter, and you can't even do shit. You can't do shit. Get it. Oh. What the fuck, bro? What the hell? I'm gonna need a second life here. Give me my win. Yeah. 
and well, there he is. That was not smart. I didn't know he was an XP loader. That's not good. Long bug, corrosive. Oh look, there's health there. And King Mong is out here. Which, uh, I need health. So we're gonna have to go with a, uh, Homan Slag Transfusion gr Grenade. Grenade. So, uh, yeah, next question is from the Feza. And he says, what are your favorite Xbox and PS3 exclusives? And I'm going to have to say Xbox is going to be, of course, Halo. Uh, everybody loves Halo. That's a great uh, exclusive. Yeah, give me your health, bitch. Oh, shit. Not cool. No. Oh, shit. This is not good. I'm gonna die. King Mong just fucked me up. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. Holy shit. I can't believe King Mong fucked me up. I'm gonna blame those robots for blowing up my goddamn fucking goddamn ride. Usually he's easier to kill when you have a goddamn ride. Motherfucker. So, uh, Halo would be one of my favorite Xbox exclusives. And I think uh, PS3 would be Uncharted, which, I mean, isn't a very uh, original list. A lot of people will always say those games, but I, I fully think that they deserve all the accolades they get because they're all amazing games. And the next question is from Lovita, and he says, let me deploy that. He says, should Michael Vick be benched? Uh, it depends. It depends on, you know, what type of, uh, you know, position you're coming from. If you're coming from a rebuilding the team position, uh, I think, yeah, he probably should be benched. But if you look at who we got, I mean, do, do we really think that Kafka is going to be the long time, you know, I guess, solution for the Philadelphia Eagles? And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, no. Kafka is not going to be the guy to fucking... You know, ah, shit. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. King Mong is fucking tough, man. Uh, Let's hit him from all the way back here. So he can't fuck with us. But, uh, no. I mean, honestly, Andy Reid is probably doing a good job by keeping Vic in there. Because he's trying to save his job, which means he's trying to give himself the best possible chance to win. And when you want to give yourself the best possible chance to win, you don't want to be going with a young guy at the quarterback position. You want to go with a guy that has, you know, that type of fucking familiarity with the group. And he's been with this group for two years, so he should be familiar with it by now. And the fact that he's not, and he looks uncomfortable in the pocket, means that, you know, Vic is obviously not going to be our long-term fucking quarterback. That's for fucking sure. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and change this out. Where's my 38,000 sticky Merv? And I want my fucking, where the hell is it at? Yeah, we'll take my rocket launcher. Bitch, I am going to hit you with a rocket. No! Boom, bitch! Yeah! Get out of here, King Mong! Woo! Uh, that is, that is really nice. What's up with all the grenade mods today? It's like Grenade Mod City out this bitch. Let's pick that up. What do we got? Uh, nah, 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 nah. Absorb chance 9%. It's kind of bullshit. Uh, but that's not a child grenade. So I'm going to say, how about no, Scotty? How about no? So, uh, no, I don't think Vic should be benched. I think they should give him the shot to turn the season around and, uh, 
probably if we don't go better than nine and seven, you know, Andy Reid will be singing his fucking, you know, his tune goodbye, you know, right out the fucking front fucking door. Uh, sad to say, Andy Reid has been a great coach for us, the most winningest coach in history. But I mean, when you, when your job is to win championships. And you ain't winning championships. You ain't doing your job. So uh, that's not gonna fucking that's not gonna cut it anymore. Especially when we've been to the goddamn fucking conferences, like a conference championship, like five times in the last ten years, and we haven't made it past like the second round of the playoffs in a few years. I mean, honestly, the last time we did anything special as an Eagles team. We fucking had Donovan McNabb at quarterback. So, it's time to uh, just move on from that. And speaking of moving on, let's go to the next uh, question. And it's from Junior Carmona. And he says, Mac, I'm having trouble getting a delivered shotgun. Do you have any advice? Uh, bring friends, man. Bring friends. That's the, uh, in this game, the more friends you play with, the higher chance you do have for a uh, legendary loot to be dropped so I would recommend doing something like that but uh remember that your friends you know they might want the shotgun too so then you're gonna be fighting over you know who gets what who doesn't get what uh, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here this is not good um yeah Woo! whoa mama um, yeah, let's see if we can't get a fucking kill shot off on one of these. Nice. Woo. Oh, shit. Uh, where's the smallest one at? No. That's not gonna work. I am severely, like, being punished here. Nope. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, buddy. I'm dying. At least put me back to where I can have a fucking car. God damn it. Car keeps getting blown up. And it's not fucking cool. So, uh, yeah, just bring friends and cross your fingers. So, uh, the next question that we have here is from Paul Velk. And he says, how long have you been on YouTube? I've already answered that. Since, uh, 2010 was when I put out my first video, my first commentary in 2011. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, go to the next question. Which is from Dead Pyro. He says, how many weapons did you successfully farm and what were they? Uh, I don't really farm weapons. If they drop legendaries, you know, or I get lucky, then I get lucky. I think, uh, I've gotten, like, five legendaries, like, a lot of them were rocket launchers. Uh, the rest of them were just like random shit, like the Neo Generator or the uh, Whiskey Tango Fox Trot Shield. But like nothing really like immensely like, oh my god, stop the presses! I got this fucking gun. Like that hasn't happened yet. I haven't gotten like one of those amazingly awesome fucking super badass motherfucking guns yet. So. Uh, you know, everything else has been duped by my subscribers, and they were nice enough to give them to me so I can show them to you guys, and that's, uh, that's where it's at, man. So, the next question is from 7 Cod Soft, and he says, Jay, is there any way possible you can add me on PSN? Uh, yeah, that's, that's perfectly possible. The only thing I'm gonna say about that, which, I mean, it is what it is, fucking... Where's my conference call at? Let's uh, let's pull the conference call out because it's it's getting pretty rough out there. It's getting pretty rough. So, yeah, right. Yeah, see now it's getting easier. <laughs> so uh, I holy shit! What a motherfucker! Did you see that? He came up to me and took all my health away in one fucking shot. It's, a uh, Hmm. It might be time to go back to my, uh, patented adaptive shield. Which, I mean, it has the same stats, really. 
but it gives me 13,000 extra health. Uh, yeah, we're going to stay with the order for now. Uh, things are getting a little bit too hairy to melee bitches, though, lately. So, you know, it's a lot easier to do that when you have fucking... God damn it. This guy's going to be coming at me hardcore. Yeah, I knew it. God damn it. Get back. Whoa. I don't think you're going to gouge my eyes out, but you might punch the shit out of me. But I'm going to chop your fucking neck off, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck out of here. So, uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, ah, Seven Cod Soft says... Is there any way possible you could add me on PSN? Uh, that is possible. But I do want to tell you that you're probably going to have to wait until The Last of Us come out. Because that will probably be the next time that I turn my PS3 on. I know you guys are going to be like, you know, what the fuck, bro? But that's how it is. I don't turn my PS3 on very often. What the fuck? Holy shit. What the hell is that heavy nomad rocket? Are they fighting? Yeah! What the fuck is this guy doing? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah! Alright, sorry about that, huh? But yeah, if... God damn it. Fuck. Um... Woo. That put a lot of his fucking shit down with one hit, so I'm actually pretty happy about how that worked out. Let's see if I can't get a headshot on this guy. Nice. This uh, this sniper rifle has gotten weak. It needs to be upgraded. <laughs> so, uh... Get him, boys! Slag! What the fuck does this guy got, man? Um, whatever he's got, I don't want. I'm gonna have to pull out this log, and get some health, baby. Yeah, here it comes. Smack. Smack. Fuck out of here. Um, I gotta go downstairs anyway, so fuck these motherfuckers. We're pulling an Assassin's Creed on these bitches. Uh, boop. Uh, there's gonna be bitches up here. So let's go over here. Uh, yeah. How about you just get the fuck out of here? We could do this all day long. Yep, yeah, I'll do this all day long with you too. Yep. Yeah. Your eyes deceive you, motherfucker. You're gonna move for the kill. This guy's gonna stand for the kill. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I will add you on PSN. Well, you can add me on PSN. My gamer tag is Morning there. Just Morning. Uh, it's I V I, I'm pretty sure, or L V L. I'm not really sure. It's one of those. Uh, but it's just Morning with an I V I. I'm pretty sure about that. And, uh, you can add me, but I'm probably not going to accept it until The Last of Us come out. So you're going to have to wait a while, because that's the next time I'm probably going to turn on my PS3. Which is, uh, you know, it's a shame. It's pretty much, uh, how it's going to be, though. Let's, uh, lob corrosive transfusion. See, I like the Holman, though, but I'd rather have the, the bigger damage. If you want to get into the info stockade and Fuck your Y94 double charges. Um. Yeah. Not good. That is a heavy nomad again. Um. Yeah. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Ooh. I don't know what to do. That's a grenade. That is a grenade! 
I'm gonna have to go and hit this motherfucker to get some health. Yeah, boy. Yeah. All right. I am melee built, so I probably should be meleeing. Let's uh get these meleeings going on. Yeah, violent marauder. You're fucked, son. Shit. Talk about fuck. That's a heavy nomad. I need to get the fuck over there to melee the motherfucker in the back. Yeah! One hit kill on that motherfucker! That was sick. That was sick! <laughs> so, uh, I should be answering these questions instead of playing. And the next question is from Paul Velk. And he says, Jay, why you know King of the Web? Uh, I'm not really sure what the whole King of the Web deal is. But, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTubers talking about it. I've seen a lot of them mention it in their videos, saying they're running for King of the Web. And I'm not sure if it... What is he doing? What is he doing? What is that? He's rapturing. He's raptured. Is he going to keep going? Keep going. Go all the way up. Where did he go? Um. Right. Alright then. That's pretty hilarious. That, that was actually fucking amazing. So... Uh, I'm not really sure what entails King of the Web, or who's actually eligible for it. But I'm pretty sure, like, after seeing some of the YouTubers I've seen, you know, running for it, or at least campaigning for it, I have no fucking shot at that, man. Fucking... And, I, I mean, I don't want to be an asshole, but, I mean, I know this sounds fucked up, but, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure... A lot of these people are doing it for charity. And I mean, I don't want to be a total dickhead. But i give enough to charity. Fuck that. If I was going to win some money, I want I want that money. <laughs> I'll just fuck it with y'all. But no, I'm not going to be king of the web anytime soon. Or throwing my hat in the fucking ring for that. So uh, don't be expecting me to be king of the web anytime soon. Because that's not something... Even the title isn't something that I'm actually, you know, trying to strive for. I don't want to be king of anything. I want to be king of vagina, if anything. That would be sick. Look at this shit. I am meleeing my ass off out here. Look at you. Look at you. You're just a maniac. Maniac for sure. And the next question is from Mr. Urban Viper. And he says, when are you going to be uploading other gameplays besides Borderlands? Uh, because he's getting bored of Borderlands and he's not a really uh, big fan of Borderlands. And he says he gets bored while watching these videos. Uh, honestly, uh, probably when Halo comes out. I, I've been fucking... Oh, shit! Yeah, get out of here, ambush commander. Yeah, that's not good. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Yeah. Oh shit, what the fuck is a grave digger? What the fuck is a grave digger? Is that a boss? What the hell is a grave digger? What is a grave digger? I wanna know. Does he drop anything good? No. Um, let's go pelt some fucking grenades out this way. Um, this guy's back here. Let's let's go fuck this guy up. Fuck out of here. What the fuck are you doing camping back here, asshole? You know? You're not allowed to do that. Hey! Um, I'm gonna have to get some goddamn health from this guy. Give me that shit. Um, can I get this guy? No. 
Um, can I get back over here? No, but I can hide for a minute to get my deception back. Yeah, son. Woo! Get out of here, ambush commander. Oh, shit. I need some fucking health. I can't move! He's stuck! Get off me, motherfucker! Get the fuck off me, you piece of shit! Are you fucking serious? You're a cocksucker, dude. I was stuck on his shit. Like, literally. So, uh, when Halo 4 comes out, I will be doing uh, different gameplays besides Borderlands. And, uh, look at this motherfucker. Still there. Look at, look at these. Die, bitches. Uh, I'm gonna need this. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Give me that shit. Give me that. Woo! Alright. I gotta get the fuck out of here. These guys are tough. Ah, shit. Woo! So, uh, I'm pretty sure I can handle this one guy left. Yeah. Alright. A lot of these missions were really easy in the first playthrough. And now they're getting rough as shit because everything is my fucking level. God damn it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have any money left. I don't have money for shit. What's, uh, that's worth eight grand. It's worth ten grand. Not really worth it. Fucking sell it. Fuck it. Now I gotta go to Main Street Reservoir and go to the Buzzard Hangers. God damn it. And the next question is from X Blow and Go 69. And he says, Have you met the person that discovered unicorns? I have not, bro. Is he still over there? This is not the guy that was glitching out of the fucking map. What an asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. I'm not going up there. We're not doing this. So, uh, next question is from Bonkman. He says, Do you have the legendary mods and are you going to dupe once the graveyard is fixed? I don't have uh, every legendary mod. I have some. Uh, I'm not sure which ones you're looking for. I have uh, a bunch of Slayer of Terramorphous mods. And, uh, what is that? Dead. Dead. Um, I don't like the way that feels. Yeah, why don't, why don't you go shut your mouth, handsome Jack? I'm talking here. So, uh, yeah, I'll be duping some legendary mods later on, uh, once the graveyard is fixed. Look at this shit. Oh my god, what is a moss mud thresher? What is a moss mud thresher? What is a moss mud thresher? Holy shit, I am dying. I need health. I need health. Bad. Oh, you fucking cocksucker. No, I'm... Woo! I did not know I can grab that off his limbs. I'll take it, whatever it was. Fuck it. I am getting fucked up here. I might be needing some help. I might be needing some friendly help. Some friends be like, yo, come give me a hand with this let's play, motherfucker. <laughs> Where am I? I can't see shit. Yeah. I'm slagged. I don't know who slagged. Somebody slagged. Get out of here. Fucking threshers. At least I managed to survive that. That was decent. So, uh, hmm. Yeah. Critical hit, baby. 
Let's toss that up in there. Um, I'm gonna need a fucking rocket launcher. And this this shit ain't doing work. I I need something better. I need something better. Where's my big Zooka? Yeah, get out of here, maniac. I'm gonna have to sit back. Play this cool. And pick people off little by little. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, the next question is from Scion Star. Sorry about that. I'm getting sidetracked all over the place here. That's not good. Uh, yeah, that's better. That's, what the fuck is that? Why don't you die? Why don't you all die? Yeah. I don't like that. Is he running backwards? Did you see that? Oh! Yeah, give me that. I need some health too. So it's time to go meleeing up in this bitch. And that's a big ass motherfucker I'm trying to melee. Give me your back. Wow. Die, motherfucker, die. That was, uh, pretty decent, actually. The next question, like I said, is from Scion Star. And Scion Star says, Hey, I was wondering if you noticed the Boondock Saints Easter egg reference uh, to the guns. Yes. Yes, I did, actually. I am just waiting so I can get level 50 versions of both after I beat this playthrough and to play through with my Mechromancer, then uh, I'll have both of them. And I could add them to my duping. But I want to see how it works with a full party of four using the whole same uh, shit because that seems like it would be a lot of fun with the effects that it gives you and how it stacks per how many people use them. So uh, I'd like to see that. That would be pretty amazing. So, uh, the next question is from Gamer PDX. Hey! Don't you run? Don't you run, bitch? Yeah! I'm gonna have to get the fuck over there, too. Give me some deception. Give me some deception. Woo! Deception and roid damage? Yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked, bitch. You're fucked. Oh shit! Yeah! That is not good. Um. Yeah! There we go! That is why I'm carrying my rocket launcher right now. Fucking A. That saved the piss out of me! So, uh, the next question, like I said, is from Gamer PDX. Right, it's getting intense! It's getting intense up in here. I can't even answer these questions. That's how intense it's getting. That's how intense it is. So let's, uh... Hold on. Let's try to get some of these fucking assholes down so I can answer this question. Woo! Yeah, buddy boy! I'm gonna teabag you because I can. So, his question is... I know you're pretty much an anarchy lover for your Mechromancer, but have you tried any of the other combinations? I have. I tried the middle tree, and uh, they all felt like a waste of time compared to how awesome anarchy really is. Uh, if you set up your anarchy tree right, you could literally be unfucking stoppable. Why? Why does that happen to me? What the fuck was that? Like a shock grenade or something? I'm not sure what's going on. Let's uh, pull out this conference call, man. This shit is a badass weapon. Yeah, that's not good. See, like right now, if I had anarchy, I would just be able to shoot the ground. And it would fuck shit up. No matter where it is. See how I'm missing my ass off right there? That's because I'm used to using this shit with anarchy. Because anarchy is that shit, son. 
You need to get some anarchy in your life. Yeah, that's... That's not good. This motherfucker... Oh, there's stinging cactuses around here. I just saw one. Motherfucker. I hate those damn things. Are they all gone? Everybody? What's he running away for? Yeah, boy. You're fucked. You're all fucked. I know I'm going to die a bunch of times trying to get into this buzzard tower. So, uh, no. I think Anarchy is probably the best system for the Mechromancer. It's just so devastating. And it's probably the most powerful skill tree in the game. Honestly. That's just... That's how I feel. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's that good. It's so good that it's probably the best in the game. Get the fuck away from me, midget. Where'd he go? Goodbye. There he is. I need to get this midget bomber out of here. I'm gonna play like a bitch. <laughs> so, uh, Silver Studios, for the win, has said, how many hours a week do I play video games for? And I think on an average week, without having a two-hour Q&A, probably about four to six hours a week. That would be a fair assumption. Uh, anything really less than that is, uh, you know, that that could happen. But I don't really play a lot more than that unless it's like a multiplayer game that just came out and I'm really into it. So, uh, yeah, let me, uh, since I'm going with my melee right now. Let's uh let's switch back to that. Cause I'm not really feeling the effects of this extra corrosive right now. This motherfucker's up there all hurt and shit. Woo! I'm just gonna have to go over there and melee him then. So uh, yeah, probably four to six weeks. Uh four to six weeks. Four to six hours a week is probably a really good accurate assumption on how much I actually play which is uh not a lot not as much as like some youtubers like I know a lot of you guys are like oh man fuck you're a youtuber you gotta be playing video games like all day long which is actually like furthest from the truth for a lot of people especially people that have uh you know shit to do bills to pay fucking girlfriends to bang fucking Kids take care of. Die! Die! That's right. That's right. Let's get as much of this shit as I can. I need some grenades. I need fucking everything. I, I just got wiped out by all these motherfuckers. Level 51 and 52. Fucking my shit up pretty good. Fucking my shit up pretty good. I give them props on that though. They're doing their jobs. And next question is from... Mr. Cactus, and he says, what do you think about the Halo series? I think the Halo series has its place in video games. I don't think it's going to be, uh, you know, I guess uh, around forever. I, I foresee them ending the Halo series at one point. Uh, I'm pretty sure they ended it with Halo 3. And Microsoft was like, nah, bro. And fucking Bungie was like, nah, bro. So they were like, Yo, we're going to buy this off you, and we're going to make our own company, and they're going to fucking make this game. And they're like, Bungie's like, whatever, dude. Give us that check. And Microsoft was like, let me break you off a couple million dollars right there. So, uh, I think the Halo series is a decent series. It's a good series. It's, uh, I don't think it's, uh, like, the greatest series ever. I've, I've, like I said... Grand Theft Auto would probably take that as far as like you know amount of uh, how awesome the games are compared to you know how many people play them I think uh, more people play Grand Theft Auto than any other series in my opinion I don't know if you agree with me on that 
but I think it's a a pretty accurate assumption to make. I can't fucking melee you without my shield. Actually, I can. That's a little bit better too. Woo! Yeah, buddy boy, you're gonna get fucked up. So, Halo series, great series. Is it the best series ever? Probably not. Uh, I like I said, I'm gonna leave that for Grand Theft Auto. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. That's that's your opinion. I'm um, I'm not gonna get mad at anybody for their own opinions. Just like I said, I'm not saying mine is fact. I'm saying mine is my opinion. So uh, the next question is from basically feeds, and he says. You're about to get fucked up going in here. Yeah, I know I am. God damn it. Why don't you take that? What the hell happened? Yeah. Go get him, buddy. Uh, go down. Yeah, boy. Stop blocking. Stop blocking that shit. Don't like it when you block it. Uh, basically, Feed says, What other games do you play besides Borderlands? At right now, uh, just Borderlands, man. I've been fucking kicking ass on Borderlands for the last month. And uh, do I play Happy Wars anymore? Not since they ripped me off, man. And they won't give me my money. And they won't give me my money. Can you believe that? They won't even fucking give me my happy hour. Like... They're like, no, we, there's nothing we can do for you. And I'm like, well, that's that's bullshit. There is something you can do for me. You give me my fucking money. Yeah. I, I don't understand how, you know, a company can say, oh, we ripped you off. There ain't shit we could do for you. Bitch. Yeah, there is. Give me my money back. Oh shit. Get out. Shit, I hate buzzards. Where are they at? Yeah. Can I put that guy down? Can I put this buzzard down? Yeah! Give me my fucking... Law and order! Law and order, baby! Law and order! Oh! Yeah, that's not good! He's got bombs over Baghdad! Not good! What the fuck, man? Alright. There it is. Good out, bitch. Alright, where's it all at? Where's it all at? Yeah! Come on! Let me survive this, please. Alright! Fucking A. Woo! So, like... Uh, no, I don't play Happy Wars ever since they ripped me off. And, uh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? Really? Really? At least they're not very accurate. I thought I killed that one already. One health left. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Hey. Hey! So, uh, the next question is from Nabak and I'm not gonna like be a dick here but it's a pretty much a repeat question asking me what uh, games are gonna be playing this holiday and it's gonna be Black Ops 2 Halo 4 and fucking what do you call that motherfucker I'm stuck I'm stuck let me get this off let me get this deception yeah can I get it Nope. Motherfucker. Yeah, that's disgusting. 
I don't want to be slagged. Yeah, all you guys are gonna die now. Are they dead? Nice. So, uh, yeah, Black Ops, Halo, and fucking goddamn motherfucking Borderlands 2. Once more DLCs come out. Yeah, I'm blast boom bigger to Brits. Then we don't gotta look at the explosion, but I wanna look at the explosion. Yeah. Oh, you better be scared, motherfucker. I'm coming, bitch. And your ass is grass. And I'm gonna smoke it. And the uh, next question is for Lastly Jack. And he says, What did you do to your knee? Hope it's better soon. I, uh, I fell off the porch. And re-injured my knee. It's an old injury from a long time ago. Fucked up ACL. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. My knee will never be the same again. It will never be 100%. I doubt that my knee will ever be 80%. Like, I, I doubt it'll ever be 75%. Even with surgery. There's not much you can do for somebody with chronic ACL injuries. And, uh, you know, you can fucking try to prevent it all you want. Take all the glucose you want. Try to rebuild the cartilage all you want. You know, and a fucked up knee is go always gonna be a fucked up knee. So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, that's pretty much where it's at, and it will get better soon, but it'll never be 100%, like I said, so, pretty much fucked with the way it is for the rest of my life, and I accept that. I accept the fact that there will be times in my life where I just won't be able to do everything that everybody else is doing, and, you know, that's, uh... That's a part of getting older, really, is accepting that you are no longer the young, veritable stud that you used to be. Like, and that's that's just a sad fact of life. And, uh, it's, it's a fact, though. It really is. If you ever watch Pulp Fiction, you know, fucking Vin Rames tells Bruce, uh, Bruce Willis the same shit. He goes, you know, now that's a hard motherfucking fact of life. But it's a fact of life, and your ass better get used to it, like, right fucking now. And that's just how it is, so, you know, get used to the facts of life that you're gonna get old, your body's gonna deteriorate, you're gonna get wrinkles, you're gonna be fucking, you know, your hands are gonna hurt from arthritis from playing video games too much. That has happened to me, you know. Yeah! You eat my fucking shit! Yeah, buddy! Get the fuck out of here! Woo. Yeah! Get out of here, rage midget! I can't kill him! They're too tiny! What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. God damn. So, uh, the next question is from the Epic ND. And he says, what emblems do you plan on making in Black Ops 2? Uh, I can't tell you that, man. I can't tell you that. It's just fucking, you know, wait for it. Be patient. It's going to be here in like two weeks. And then I'll probably have like, a bunch of emblem videos for you guys. I promise there will be emblem videos for everybody. Oh shit! What the fuck was that? Oh, it's Mortar. He came down already. What the fuck, bitch? Ooh. What the hell is this asshole? Oh shit! Where the fuck did these assholes come from? Yeah. You're an unworthy opponent, motherfucker. All of you guys. 
Yeah! Get the fuck off me! Ah, I got you now, bitch! I got your number now! How do you like me? Now, motherfuckers! <laughs> so, uh... Yeah! Next question! It's from Coolbeard! And he said, when will you show your face? Man... We've been through this before, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll just fuck with you guys. Uh, it's just... I don't have any desire to do face cams. Like, I know that sounds like weird and shit. Like, I know all types of YouTubers are like, man, face cams are where it's at and shit. Fuck it, you really need to do a face cam. Face cam, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, it's just not my style. I don't, I think face cams ruin the shit. I do have series uh, lined up for later on this year that will show my face, but they're not going to be gaming related. And they might be on a different channel. And you might not even know what channel that is. I might not even tell you what it is. Fuck it. Because <laughs> I'm weird like that. I might just make you find my shit. Be like, yo, this is what we do around here. But, uh, no, I do have some series planned that will be, uh, you know, involving face cams and people showing faces. Uh, anytime soon, though, on gaming videos? Nope. Uh, gaming videos, I just don't see the reason for face cams. Uh, that's just, that's just the way I feel. I mean, I'm a gaming channel. Once I start doing series that have, you know... How did that miss? I can't believe that missed. Alright. Get down. Ooh, oh shit. Yeah, there's a ton of motherfuckers up in here. Um, let's get the fuck away from that. Give me some... Jesus Christ, so, uh... Yeah. I'll show my face on series that requires a face cam. Now, I know a lot of people are like, Oh, well, Slender... Shit like that. It's just, uh... No, I don't think Slender warrants a face cam. At all. Not one bit. Because it doesn't scare me. It scares my girlfriend. And I don't care how fucking much you guys ask. Uh, my girlfriend is a very attractive woman. And my girlfriend will never be on my channel. With the face cam either. Because I see some of the comments like PewDiePie's girlfriend is really, really hot. She's got that accent from Italy and shit. And, uh, you know, have you seen some of the comments on some of those videos? Like, I'm not even talking, like, a lot of them are nice. But a lot of them are fucking disgusting. And I, don't, I would never ever subject my girlfriend to that. I have too much self-respect for me and my girlfriend to do that. So, nope. Uh, that's just where it's at. So, the next question is from Halo Undead. He says, Are you a hardcore Halo fan? Or gamer? No. No, I am not. Uh, the only Halo I ever played was Halo 3 multiplayer. And I also played a little bit of the uh, Halo Anniversary Edition fucking, uh, what was that? Uh, like the fucking Halo 1 Anniversary. I thought they were good games, but I'm not a diehard gamer for, like, Halo. I'm recently actually new in the Halo. So, uh, you know, let's see how that goes. And uh, the next question is from Mr. T. Coops. And he says... Have you been to Gettysburg, PA to visit the Civil War site? I have not. And the reason why 
is because I'm more of a Revolutionary War fan than the Civil War. I kind of find the Civil War to be fought over a lot of uh, shit that probably shouldn't have been fought over. Like, I mean, slavery was bad. That shouldn't have happened in the first place for us to be fighting about it. So, uh, you know, the Revolutionary War, in my opinion, meant a lot more to America than the Civil War really did. I'm not putting, like, any any of the, like, you know, whole slavery thing down or anything. But, uh, without the Revolutionary War, there is nothing. There's no America. So, I find that to be a little bit more important in my history buff likings. <laughs> and the next question is from Anon. A miss. I get it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He says... My questions are about guns and manufacturers. He says, uh, I never see you use TDR or, or torque guns. Uh, do I have a favorite manufacturer? Or, uh, you know, the only shotgun he ever sees me use is the conference call. Uh, that's because it's the strongest shotgun in the game. And, uh, I do like Jacobs. Uh, the Malawan Sniper is not my favorite, but I think it's pretty cool. But I think Jacobs and, uh, yeah, Jacobs would probably be my favorite manufacturer in the game if I had one. So, uh, that's pretty cool. We only got a few more questions left, and I'm going to end it here because that means for next episode, we will be able to, uh, what do you call that? Finish the game, probably. And this is three hours long. God damn. So we are probably going to be uh, going off and putting this into three videos today. Because uh, that's a lot of fucking questions. God damn. And uh, <laughs> so let's go back to Sanctuary. Let's go fuck around in there for a minute. And I would say, yeah. Jacobs is my favorite uh, manufacturer. Vladoff would be my second favorite just because I love my assault rifle. And uh, the next question is from Anime Freak and with a bunch of nines. And he says, Hey Morning, have you heard of a band called Avenge Sevenfold? I have. I have. And he says, Do you like their music? <laughs> Fuck no! Uh, I do like metal, but Avenge Sevenfold is just in my opinion fucking terrible they're they're terrible i know you're gonna be like how can you say that i've seen them live probably about like three or four times they keep showing up at festivals that i go to and uh i i don't think they're anything really i guess special the only thing i could say is i think what ruined it for me was when they tried to do a Pantera song and they covered Walk and it came out so shitty and honestly if you're a metal band don't try to fucking cover Pantera you can't do it nobody can do it that's why they're Pantera Pantera can do it not you so uh no I don't really like Avenged Sevenfold and the next question is from Dandy Man Games again. He says, "Do you get annoyed by ten-year-olds playing games like COD or Borderlands?" Uh, I think it's up to the parents, really. But I do wish that parents would get parental controls on their, you know, online Xbox Live. That way, you know, the 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 saddest thing ever is hearing like a really young kid talk shit over a mic because they're always like oh yeah we, you suck cock and it's like bitch you've never even seen a cock to know what cock sucking is like motherfucker so stop trying to tell me to suck something that you don't have any fucking clue about so uh I think I think they should just limit that type of uh you know interaction to 18 or older uh I think maybe 15, 15, 16 would be all right, but any younger than that and you're really coming close to the border of, uh, you know, 
trying to try to have a kid talk shit to a grown person. And I don't I don't think they should shut mics off for everybody, but maybe have a playlist for fucking people that are actually legitimately, you know, eighteen years or older that don't want to play with the bullshit of like, you know, a spinning fucking trick shot and fucking twelve year old try to be the next fucking optic or phase or whatever the fuck that shit is. Cause that shit pisses me off. It really does. I don't know why. So uh the next question is from Awesome Sauce for the Win. And he says, Thanks for answering my question. I subbed to you around your first Borderlands video. Uh, thank you, man. And uh, he says, My question is, will you be doing any Nazi zombies? Uh, probably not. Unless I really like the team-based game modes they have. But, like, regular old Nazi zombies is just not for me, man. Never been a fan of, like, the horde mode like that. Uh, even in, like, Gears of War and shit. Just never got into it, so... Probably not. And next question is from Lucas PK, And he says, Do you think we might be able to play a session of Borderlands 2 together? I've already mentioned this before. Like I said, uh... You know, I have my own group of people that I play Borderlands with. And you probably do, too. And, you know, I'm a little bit older than a lot of you guys... And play with a lot of you guys is a little awkward. I'm not going to lie. And, uh, you know, the problem with playing with one subscriber is that every subscriber wants to play. And I try to keep things fair. And that's why I don't accept friend requests on my gamer tag from subscribers. Is because I get so many friend requests a day that I can't accept them all. And it's just not fair anymore. So, uh, no, that's not going to happen, bro. And, uh, he says, I'm deaf too in my left ear because of a tumor. Well, I hope that tumor, uh, you know, gets taken care of or at least doesn't spread. Or, you know, you could do something to make sure that tumor, you know, doesn't fuck with you, man. Because that sucks ass. That sucks ass really bad. The next question is from GFerd176. And he says, Morning, would you rather die or have explosive diarrhea? Well, being that I've already had explosive diarrhea at least once in my life, I would rather have explosive diarrhea. Because there ain't no coming back from dying, but you can always bounce back from explosive diarrhea. And the next question is from Wonderful Weasel. He said, Did you choose the YouTube life or did the YouTube life choose you? Uh, I just put up a video one day. Showing my friends what I built in Minecraft because I couldn't get on a multiplayer server because the computer I was using to play Minecraft at the time sucked balls. It was an e machine. And so I made a video and I sent it to my buddy and I was like, check this out. He's like, oh, that's cool. I came back like next week and that video had like five to ten, somewhere 10,000 views on it or something. Crazy. So I just kept putting a video up like once a month and they kept getting views. And then I put up a commentary like six months later, like I said before, my earlier videos. And it just kind of spiraled from there. So I guess YouTube chose me. You guys chose me to be the commentator that you want to watch. And I think that's amazing. I really like that. And I feel, I feel lucky that you guys have chosen me to be one of the people on YouTube to have a channel that grows pretty hardcore like that. So... Wow, that's $13,000 to play? That was a waste of money. That sucks ass. <laughs> so, uh, 12A Jambi says, Would you rather have a pet dragon that can breathe fire, or a pet unicorn that can shit rainbows with leprechauns at the end, and a pot of gold? I'd rather have the unicorn with the pot of gold, because then I could use that money and bribe the fucking leprechauns with their own gold back. To get a goddamn dragon that breathes fire. And then fucking... I'll have both. And everything would be peachy keen. So, uh... We only have a few more questions here. Let's get back to these. And, uh... Dr. Del Somo Tueros, duh... Says... I finally got to Norfleet. So I wanted to tell you thanks. And if you found any aliens. I have not found any aliens. I have not, uh... Unless you mean, like, illegal aliens, there's plenty in my neighborhood. <laughs> but, uh, nope, I haven't found any aliens, and you're welcome. You're welcome. 
That uh, North Fleet is an awesome piece of weaponry. And Chaos Bringer has a really long question. And he says, have you ever played Fantasy Star Online? And then he goes to tell me exactly what kind of game it is. Uh, no, I haven't. I'm not really into MMOs like that. It's just not my style of game. Uh, Borderlands is the closest I get to an MMO. And even then, I've become highly addictive to it. And uh, that's one of the things I told my girlfriend was... I won't play an MMO World of Warcraft style game because I do have an addictive personality and I don't want to get addicted to a game that could ruin my life. Like I see it on 2020. People are getting divorces over World of Warcraft and that's fucking crazy. And the last question is from Samuel McLennan and he says, Hey Mac, did your son go trick or treating? If so, what was he? Uh, this goes back to the question that I answered earlier today that uh, asked me, you know, uh, where I live in Jersey. And the, the answer to those questions is I don't really go into personal things. I'll tell you, like, you know, I have a son. He's nine years old. And he's an amazing kid. That's as far as I'm going to go. Like, I mean, he likes Legos and shit. I can tell you what kind of shit he's into. But, I mean, as far as, like, you know... Telling you what he was for Halloween and shit like that. That's a little personal. And I don't want to get into that. And like I said, I've seen other YouTubers that have made the uh, mistake of putting their family out there a little bit too much. And then they, uh, you know, shit got pretty shitty. And, uh, you know, you saw the shit with, like, you know, Woody versus obviously Jesus. And, you know, Woody let everybody know that his kid was autistic. Obviously, Jesus talk, took that as, you know, oh, I want to use that as ammunition against this guy. And fucking, you know, nothing's safe on YouTube. The way, like, whatever information you put out there, there's another motherfucker just waiting for you to slip up so they could use that information against you. And be like, ha, motherfucker, got you. Called you out. And I refuse to be one of those people. So... That's why I'm a little bit guarded with my private life and a lot of the details with such. And I believe that that's the right choice that I made for me and my family and for my YouTube channel. And I'm glad that you guys respect that. So, without further ado, my name is Jay. More than Afterkill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.